And here we have Botafogo against Boca Juniors. I'm John Champion and sitting alongside me up here in our lofty perch in the commentary box is Jim Beglin. Hi John, at this stage I think the players are just desperate to get out there and this promises to be a terrific game. Players about to leave the sanctuary of the tunnel. These are the lineups. So, let's get down to business. An important interception, things were starting to look dangerous. Running through the middle, but without support. Oh, an outstanding save! Over the ball, his teammates waiting. It's cleared away from danger. Boca Juniors with a goal. And there's the first goal of the game. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with. And to find it, I think it was a fine drive. And I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. so early in the game. Boca Juniors scoring in the first 10 minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. He went for the chip, but no success. Well, credit to him for trying, although he just didn't quite get the touch right. He's tried the lob. Maybe his technique a little lacking there. Yeah, and he certainly kept the keeper guessing with the lob. Some dangerous moments, but he was there to intervene. Nicolas Lodero. Can he get there? Wins a throw. Little in the way of subtlety in that tackle. And he's been fouled. That will see him go into the referee's notebook. A stern challenge coming in. in accurately well if he wants to do something he'll have to do it alone
Bolivar. Going forward. They've scored. Two goals to the good, and they're set fair. That is simply unsavable. goes for a throw-in. This goes for a throw-in. He was well positioned, good defending there. Now there's a chance to counter. They can have another go. They can try again. Tries again. And it's taken with some style. The goal in first half stoppage time. What are your thoughts on the goal, Jim Beglin? I think when you can see the goal like that, the manager has to start questioning his personnel because to allow someone into that position, totally unmarked, I think that's reckless in the extreme, I really do. away again and they show no signs at all of throwing in the towel the whistle goes and it's the end of the first half just one goal separates them 2-1 on the score sheet Second half gets underway. Forward it goes. Away to safety. From distance, it lacked accuracy. Well, it was a very decent shot from distance. You know, a little less strength, and it might have just dipped under the bar. Good effort, though. Poor distribution from the keeper, that's a gift. A chance. Right idea. Wrong execution. I thought he showed great awareness there, but he just didn't get that little lob right. Shoot here, off target. There wasn't much on for him, so it was worth a shot, it was worth a try from there. Castellani picks the ball up straight from a goal kick. Boca Juniors. Rocker Juniors with a big chance and a big miss. Juan Manuel Martinez now looking to see who wants it. It's in! 
wonderful stuff and it was all about quick thinking and even quicker feet but you have to ask questions as to how he got through he'll be taking the match ball home well he's been the outstanding player on the pitch and devastating in front of the goal what a display what a player keeping the ball under control when the pressure's been applied like that. I think he asked too much of himself. Juan Manuel Martinez gives away a free kick. Both sides fiercely contesting the ball. He's caught him there. A yellow card, no cause for argument there. The players crowding around to see for themselves just how bad things are. Over to the right. Clock counting down. A robust challenge. He's looking to find his front men. Going forward with purpose. He went for elevation, but he didn't come off. Well, that's good use of the element of surprise. He just didn't get the connection he needed. A good delivery essential here. And the defence does its job. They get it away. Gago! So near. But that is going to be the last kick of the game as the final whistle goes. Boca Juniors have done it. They continued where they left off after the first...